Even when you feel low, you can still oh, go. Fichon. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Fish of, oh. <laughs> First fish of the morning. Looks like a trout. Oh no, it's a nice snook. Okay, hiding right there by the mangroves. We'll let you go, buddy. We'll let you go. All right, nice snook on a uh, top water. Good morning, everybody. All right, there you go. Barely hooked. That's why we're using top water. We're walking the dog. Nice snook early in the morning. Why not to start the day? I love it. It's always good. We'll take a picture and we'll let him go. We got our first snook. Got the skunk all the way. I love the top water, guys. I love working top water before sun comes up. It's amazing. My favorite, really, Spook Junior. But today I want to try this uh, bigger bait. Oh, 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 here we go. Fish on. <laughs> oh, fish on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's a nice puller. Wow, oh, he's fighting pretty good. Look at that. Another snook. That one's a little bigger. Okay. We got them snooks here today. It's easy. There we go. The hook is off. Another beautiful snook. That's a nice one. Let's take a picture of that. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. There you go, guys. Uh, I think it's almost the same size, but he was fighting much better, so... There you go, another one, we'll let him go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, gorgeous Florida morning. Before it gets up to 115 degrees heat, <laughs> gotta take advantage. We just started, top water. We already got two nice snook with the top water. Good morning. I love it. So let's see what the day brings, but hoping to get a nice slam. Redfish, snook trout, gonna go into mangrove, so let's see what happens, stay tuned, thanks for tuning in, if you're new to the channel, my name is Khan Orr, your YouTube fisherman, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it, but let's get on fishing, oh, another fish on, I think that's a trout, and look at him, look at him, dolphins there, oh, I just got off, man, what's up with these dolphins, man? Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It was after that trout. Oh my God, man. Oh, oh see that blow up? <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. I love it. Look at that trout. Holy crap. Look at that trout. <laughs> Ah, I love it. Easy, baby, easy. Oh, man. Wow, that's a good trout, guys. Easy, easy, easy. Look at that. <laughs> ah, gotta love that. Gotta love that. All right, we gotta let you go, buddy. Oh, he got hooked really good. He wasn't going nowhere. There you go. Beautiful trout. Gorgeous trout. I love it. Oh man, this is so cool. There it is. We'll let him go. It looks like a 19. Let's measure it just in case. 
you can keep 15 to 19. Let's wet the board. Make sure he's good. Right, we got, yep, exactly 19. Yep, exactly 19, guys. That's a nice keeper right there. But I don't really eat trout, so we're gonna let him go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love it. Let's go, baby. Two snook, nice trout, early in the morning. Sun is rising. All right, guys, sun is up. So I'm gonna use one of my shrimp lures. Just kind of troll and see if I can get a redfish with that. Work the mangroves, cuts, dips, pockets, any bait movement, structure. Just gotta work it. I think this uh, shrimp is the savage gear right there. Perfect. I love the color. It comes with the weedless setup, so I like that. Especially when you work in structure, mangroves, you don't want to get hung up. So I like the fact that it does come with it. I like the color of it. I'm using my 2500 Shimano. I mean, actually, this is the Daiwa. Daiwa Fuego 2500. So I love this reel. Rod is the Battle 3. That's the medium light, fast action. 10 pound braid, 20 pound fluorocarbon. I love that combo. When I'm at the shallows, flats, it really works for redfish, snook, trout. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Weedless, going back to my favorite, paddle tail, look at the action. That's Fred, Pink, Flamingo, whatever you call it, A little Dr. Juice. Oh yeah, if you get Dr. Juice, make sure you spray it outside the kayak, very oily for a little scent. Here we go, look at that paddle tail. Oh yeah, man. So let's see, now we're gonna get hooked up. Shrimp I try, but I can't waste my time. Time is important, because it's getting super hot. I mean, I'm talking like boiling hot. It's not even eight o'clock. <laughs> oh man, that's why guys, always come out early, leave early. You don't want to be out here with 115 degree heat index. Oh, I just saw a tail right there, right there in the corner. Come on, right there, right there, right there, he's right there. Look at that, look at that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A lot of grass. I just saw his tail. Oh man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh man. This is the third one I saw with the tail out sticking up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. What the hell? Let's go, man. Let's go. A 
lots of nice moving water tailing redfish Ooh. Ooh. I just got a hit I think it was a trout guys it got hot I mean it's 10 o'clock no redfish I saw four tailing redfish and they just not biting they were just there cruising chilling not hungry at all I mean maybe live bait maybe live shrimp but usually they do bite the paddle tail but absolutely no taker four tailing redfish right where the mangroves are but nothing so i mean i know it's hot it got super hot and it's only 10 o'clock so i'm gonna try to see if i can find some shade and work those mangroves by the shade by the moving water hopefully we'll get a redfish guys taking a little break having a little protein bar kirkland chocolate chip cookie dough delicious and then when you guys are out don't just drink water this sun is ridiculous liquid iv <clears throat> that's a hydration multiplier and has the electrolyte that you need so i do have that i use that i mix it with my water right there beautiful water's not just enough florida sun it's ridiculous especially after 10 o'clock so definitely get that liquid iv add it to your water oh man and get hydrated you don't want to get dehydrated in the sun so we're just taking a little break gonna work the mangroves i'm after that one redfish guys one redfish once i catch it we're gonna complete our inshore slam snook trout redfish so let's see let's get some energy get our lunch and Ooh, get back fish on it. baby fish on definitely a trout oh yes little baby trout trolling always fun to catch beautiful fish man there he goes well guys it's next day i'm back home yesterday I cannot believe the heat. I mean, I could believe it, but I have never seen Florida like this. I've been living in Florida since 1992, and this is the hottest days consecutively ever. 115, 118 heat index. I mean, it was ridiculous. Around 11, like 10, 30, 11, my heart, like, I felt like really pressured. I'm like, what's going on? I think I had a heat stroke or something. I don't know what was it, but it, I didn't feel good. I tried to get up on the kayak a couple of times and it didn't feel right. My balance is super good and I felt like I was going to fall over. So I'm like, uh oh, it's time to go back. So it was really bad. I mean, that's why, you know, I wanted to make this video, tell you guys the Florida heat in, during summer is not a joke. You have to get hydrated the night before the day before you go on fishing if you're gonna stay out there it is super hot it's not like a regular heat in a different country or state florida hot with the humidity it really really affects your health so and i felt it in my heart my body and definitely i think i had a heat stroke yesterday so I had to get out. I got out of water right away. There was no wind either. So usually if you get a little breeze wind, it feels better. And I always cover myself head to toe, as you guys see on the videos. But, you know, that didn't feel good. That was kind of scary. So that's why I recommend you please get hydrated the day before. 
entire day during your fishing and add that liquid IV that I show you on the video to your water. Water just not enough. You got to keep drinking a lot of liquid, lots of water, lots of hydration packages like the liquid IV. So you need electrolytes while you're in the water. So please do that and keep doing it during the fishing and continue the next day as well because again the Florida heat is no joke but all in all I mean it was a good morning the early bite as always was hot top water I use my lures you know for that nice top water moonwalker and spook junior so if you're going out there please be safe go out there early and be out there like on the water on six and come out early it is like I said, no joke. So that's it from me. Uh, I feel good. I feel fine today. You know, I keep drinking a lot of fluids. So thank God everything is fine. Just want to show you guys this is where I keep my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 kayak. And I do maintain it. I clean it. I wash it. I do use my loop for your connectors. That's the dielectric grease. So I do use that. That way you guys know, because lots of people ask. I do use for my electronic cleaner, contact cleaner. I spray, like for example, I spray that here, just to make sure. I mean, I wash it with the fresh water, but just in case. I spray it here, so it's clean, always stays clean. And then I have the T9, that's the uh, corrosion. I use that for the prop. Inside, I take it out, I clean it, I wash it with the fresh water, and then by the pin, I use this so it doesn't get rusted. And it's been perfect. So I do use those. I highly recommend you guys doing it. It takes like a couple minutes to maintain. After the water, you come home, fresh water, wash it off, and clean your prop. T9, spray it all over contact cleaners and you gotta do use the dielectric on your uh, contacts points right there on your plug ends and the battery plug and the battery so that's it that's the video i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said please be safe out there thanks for watching i will see you on the next video tight line everyone